All right, guys. Uh, so I'm here with David Bailiff, the captain, if you will. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about his book, uh, The Winning Mindset for the Mobile Entrepreneur. Success starts in the brain. And uh, David, how you doing, man? Doing great, man. Jeremy, it's good to see you, brother. You too, man. You've been busy helping people this morning. Stay bendy. I, I have been helping people stay bendy. I've been asking them to engage their gluteus outsideus. It's been a great day, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're engaging our gluteus inside is because it's cold in Louisiana today. So, oh, yeah. uh, I got my brother, jacket on too. So. Yeah. Man, tell me how exciting it is to have your book published, David. Oh, uh, dude, I tell you what, man, it just, it's, it's, it's almost, I don't know. It, it's, it's, uh, wow, it, it's somewhat overwhelming. It, it's so exciting. I mean, to, to have it out there and just to think, like, man, I did this. Like, something that I produced. People can go on Amazon all over the world and, and buy it. Like me, me, people are buying my stuff. They're reading my words. Like, it's like, man, it's pretty freaking cool. I mean, it, it really is. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a good feeling. And I tell you what, for those who are like, can I do this? Should I do this? I, I can't do it. Yes, you can, because this dude right here did it. I know Jeremy has shared my story of me saying, I, I don't know what to say, you know, and, being told that I don't have anything to say. Well, I'll tell you what, all of a sudden when your book is published, it, it truly does kind of help your confidence level come up a little bit. Cause you know, you start to kind of, you sort of strut a little bit, you know, like oh, John Travolta and Saturday Night Fever, man. It just, it, it makes you feel good. So if you feel like you can't do it, do it. Because afterwards you're going to feel pretty damn good about yourself. Awesome. Yeah, man. I mean, what was keeping you from writing your book all those years? I know you told me you had this book idea like six, seven years ago. Yeah. Um, and what, what was keeping you from doing that, man? Uh, thinking I didn't have the time. Right. Thinking that I didn't know what to say in the book. Thinking that I had enough to, to write for maybe 10 pages. Thinking that, you know, I'm going to write 10 pages and then people are going to be like, oh, that's it. Like you didn't say anything. Like, why did I waste my time? You know, why did I, why did I waste my 49 cents purchasing this on Amazon? You know? Um, and I, I think also just past history, longstanding of just feeling like I'm, I'm nobody, you know, who, who am I that has something to say, you know? And, and, I mean, that's aside from being told that I didn't have anything to say. It's believing that like, well, I don't, you know, I don't have anything to say. I don't have, I don't have time to write it. Thinking that, you know, I've got to sit down for hours and hours and hours for months and months and months and hammer out this, you know, this long novel. And that's really what was holding me back. This is right. what was holding me back right here. And, and once you sat down and wrote it, I mean, you were sending me chapters like you would finish a chapter in a day, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when, when I would write, I would I would finish a chapter in a day. Uh, there were a couple times, you know, a lot of times I wrote on the weekends and, and, you know, there were times I'd send you two chapters, you mm -hmm. know, two and a half chapters. And I, I think for me also is that like I, I, I like to write and I feel like that when I do write that I write, I, I feel like that I write pretty well. Um, but I'm one of those people like I got to have a muse. Like I can't just sit down and just be like, you know what? I'm going to come up with brilliance. Okay. I got to have something like, for, like right now I feel like I could just, I could write like a, one of those Fabio love stories right now. Cause I'm sitting here looking at Jeremy Sutton. So I got a muse in front of me. So I feel like I could pound that out, but I just got to have a muse to be able to write. And so Saturdays I'd sit down and, you know, and, I, and I'd write, and sometimes, man, I'd get in the flow. Maybe it'd be it'd be an evening time. I'd get home during the week, and I'd start writing at, at night. And I always hated to go to bed because it's like, man, like I got all this stuff just flowing out of my brain right now. But it's like, if I don't go to bed now, I'm going to be hating life tomorrow. So, you know, it, it just comes and goes. Right. Absolutely. That's awesome. Talk about how, like, I think that's our one of our biggest things is people think they don't have anything to say, and and then. Not so much that, but how you wrote in your own voice, like your book, your titles of your chapters, mm -hmm. or you know, if you ain't first, you're last. Uh, be right, like right. Uh, what it was, Roger Federer, uh, all the Roger be like, Federer, the paparazzi, be, be like pa Mike, paparazzi. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, why did you do that? Why didn't you just put something lame and <laughs> I mean, talk about how you can still be yourself in your book? Yeah, the the standard. You know, why didn't I do the standard uh, chapter titles and stuff? Um, you know, I think well. 
you know, Jeremy, as you know, in the, in the very, very, very beginning of the book, before you start reading the book, there is, is, is one page in there that says this book was written with the infusion of the, of the author's personality. And, you know, I actually was, was talking to someone yesterday who actually called me and asked me about your course. And I was strongly encouraging him to, to take your course. But I, I told him, because he was like, you know, he said, there are three things that I can't do. I can't sing. I can't dance. I can't write. And I told him, well, I mean, all three things, you can learn how to do it. But you're writing like you can write. And don't be afraid to just be you. Mm-hmm. Share your personality because that's what the reader wants. The reader wants your personality. They want to feel like that you're having a conversation with you or with them. Mm-hmm. And I told him, you know, writing is nothing more than rewriting. And, you know, for me, I mean, you know me, Jeremy, I tend to be kind of just sort of goofball anyway. And so that was just my personality is like, you know what, I'm going to just, I'm going to come, I'm going to be different. I'm going to be different. I'm going to come up with some different title names that are catchy that make people go, well, what the hell is he going to talk about here? You know, that's just, that's just how I am. And then as I, as I wrote it, I mean, you know, if I need to write something that, that needs to be more like grammatically perfect or whatever, I mean, I can do that, but I really wanted this book to one, not be, um, a, a technical field with Latin, you know, thing. I wanted it to just be a casual read where again, the person felt like that I was just sitting down and just saying, look, you know, here's the dirty, dirty on how you get things done. All right. That's what I wanted. So that's how I wrote. And how did I come up with what to write? Honestly, you know, I'd sit, I, cause at first when I started the book, I didn't know what I was going to include in the book. And what helped me is that, I said, well, what else is out there? What have I learned that would be applicable to this that I could talk about? What are other books that people have written that that I can look at and see like, okay, big picture, what did they talk about? Well, okay, you know what? I can talk about that. I'll just put it in my words. You know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's okay if if your content, the subject matter is, is similar to other books. What's important is that you put it in your words because it's going to be in your words and it's going to have a different feel and a different flair and personality to it. So when I struggled, I just thought back to like, okay, through my, the, the coaching that I've received, what is some, some information that I've gotten that I thought, you know what, this would be good to talk about. Hmm, I can talk about that. And so that, that's how I came up with some stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Was it easy to go through the, the program that I do and, and work with me at all? Absolutely. First of all, did I, did I answer your last question? I think I went yeah, on. Yeah, you did. Yeah, look, you did. Look, a bird. So I don't know if I, yeah, I, I saw one too. So no big deal. Yeah, but, um, well, that, your bird that you saw was you know you giving me the bird. But anyway, um, no, it, you know what, guys? I mean, if you're if you're watching this, if you're listening to this, again, Jeremy did that. Full disclosure: there's no affiliate link here. I don't get paid by Jeremy at all. I couldn't have asked for an easier process working with Jeremy. I mean, he helped me so much. As he uh, said, I would send him my cha- chapters, you know, each week when I wrote, when I didn't send him chapters for two or three weeks, you know, he got on my butt and said, hey, Cap, get writing, you know, I'm like, oh, thanks for the reminder. You know, so he held me accountable, which I appreciated. I appreciated that. And, you know, I didn't want to let him down. So I made sure that I wrote. But also, I, I had a deadline that I wanted to meet. But working with, you know, I'd send him the chapters. He would send me back feedback on it. Um, when it came time to publish, man, he, I, I can't thank him enough for the amount of work that he did and the amount of time that he spent helping me to get published. So it was, it was an easy process, man. I mean, I mean, I felt like kind of like, you know, back in high school when your, you know, your dad wrote all your papers for you or something. And that's what it was like. I mean, you did, you did everything but write the book for me. So you can call me dad if you want. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> David, t- talk about how you feel now that you have a book to give people. Cause I, I want people to understand like the feeling that comes with the, with this, like I have a book to hand someone now. Mm-hmm. You know, as, as you're asking that question, the very first word that popped in my mind was, was pride. There's a lot of pride in being able to say, Hey, you know, I, I, I wrote this. Look, look what I did. That's, that's, I wrote it. Cause look, that's my picture on the cover. So I had to be the one that write it. Nothing else. At least it's my picture that's on the cover, but you know, it's a lot, a lot of pride. I, I feel, I feel accomplished. I feel a lot of pride. I feel like that it does kind of make me somebody that halfway knows what they're talking about. You know, some, uh, an authority figure. 
somebody to turn to. I feel like that it does add to my famicity a little bit, which I talk about in the book, you know, growing your famicity. So um, no, nothing but good, but good stuff. And not, not egotistically, but it right, no. was, you know, I mean, again, the book, you know, the winning mindset, you know, success starts between the ears, you know, to be successful, man, you gotta, you, you know, first chapter, if you ain't first, you're last. And so what this book does for me is it helps me to make sure that I'm first in my head, which does nothing more than it helps me with my, my mobile practice. It helps me, you know, with my coaching practice, you know, just in general. So. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, man, I know you're busy. I know you got a bunch of clients to see today. So I I just wanted to kind of get you on here for just a few minutes and hear your story, but uh, I really appreciate it. And, uh, I think this will help people understand how it is to start to finish and how it makes you feel when you get your book done. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, Jeremy. I can't thank you enough. And for, you know, for the viewers and the, and the watchers there, um, listeners, uh, this guy right here, he he can help you. I, 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 man, I fully endorse this dude and his program, but thank you so much, Jeremy. I I mean, I owe so much of the fact of what I've got now to you. So thank you. And, And having me on the show was a blast, man. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks brother.